Hello, I'm Robbie Fowler and you're watching Redman TV. Hello and welcome to this breaking news edition of the Redmen TV. Of course, by now you'll probably be aware that Liverpool have unveiled their first signing of the Rodgers regime in Fabio Barini, signed in for a reported £11 million pounds from AS Roma. Um, yeah, fantastic, eh? Yeah, great to see the ball finally getting rolled in the transfer market. Obviously, there's going to be some slight concerns. I mean, the, the, for the vast majority of us, I mean, unless you're you're you're, you're badly up on your uh, Italian footy, and, and I'm sure plenty of you are. Uh, Fabio Barini won't be the kind of household name that perhaps a few people will be uh, will have been clamouring for. Um, so anyway, let's have a quick look at his basic fact file. He's 21, he's an Italian international, he was in the Euro 2012 squad. For Italy, uh, as we say, the Liverpool Echo reporting that the fee was £11 million, there or thereabouts. I, I think it was definitely it was definitely over 10, let, let's say that. Um, yeah, signed from Roma, who signed him, uh, he had a co-ownership deal with Parma for him. <laughs> uh, he's going to be wearing the number 29 squad number according to the Liverpool website uh, and he scored 10 goals in 26 appearances for Roma uh, in all competitions last season. Uh, Brendan Rodgers had this to say about the man, he's technically strong, he's a good finisher with both feet, he can play central or on the sides in a 4-3-3 up front, he's quick and he's tactically very good. He is arguably the best physical player I've worked with in terms of his pace, power and fitness. Mentally he's very strong, we've got a player who's on the up and someone who I think Liverpool will benefit from. Um, well, <laughs> high praise, high praise from the boss. I mean, to be honest, I think that's quite fascinating because all this talk about Andy Carroll and uh, will he fit in with the system uh, we know very much that Andy Carroll is a one position kind of guy um, but we also know what we know anyway of the 4-3-3 sort of setup. If, if you're going to be copying the sort of Barcelona, Spain mould, if that's the case, then it has to be very fluid up front. And the idea of having Berlin, who can be the sort of spearhead of the attack, or he can play wide as well. There's some very interesting quotes actually. Uh, go on the Liverpool website, this is where the, the, the interviews are. Um, he actually talks about, he compares himself to being similar to Suarez, which is a very interesting thing. Um, obviously, <laughs> do your research. We, we've, uh, we'll, we'll be doing that this weekend. We'll be scouring YouTube for, uh, for clips and, uh, to try and glean a little bit, a bit more about what kind of player we've got our hands on. But looking at a few of the sort of pros and cons of the signing, um, obviously, he started his career professional career at Chelsea uh, at age 16 so he, he speaks English he knows the English game as well having played for obviously played for Chelsea played for the Rezies and played on loan for Swansea as well in the championship um, so that's something so it won't be a massive sort of culture shock for him coming back um, also, of course, having played for Brendan Rodgers, uh, he also knows his way of playing, which obviously means that hopefully he should be able to sort of settle in straight away and and, and you know, we'll understand what Rogers is saying from the get-go. It reminds me, I mean, a lot of managers like to do this. They like to get players they've worked with already. Or, you know, in the case of foreign managers, get players who speak the same language. Sort of help with the, help communicate what it is they're trying to get across on the training ground. Um, now, the problems, um, if you can call them that, the, the cons, so to speak, are obviously Italian centre-forwards. Well, I, I, on the whole, you'd say Italian players sort of struggle. Um, to break into the Premier League, but Italian centre forwards, uh, Fabrizio Ravanelli, Gianluca Vialli, to name but to name but two, uh, pff, Zola, Gianfranco Zola. There you go. Where's three? Amazing. If he's half as good <laughs> as those three, then we'll have a little side on our hands. Um, one thing, uh, the other, the other cons, of course, that as we as we mentioned, is a relative unknown. Um, but also, he's not exactly prolific uh, in front of goal. As we say, he scored ten and twenty six for Roma last year, which doesn't make you think, wow, we've bought an absolute world beater. But, did you know Fernando Torres, and I, I obviously don't know this off the top of my head, because as you can see, I'm looking at my cheat sheet. Um, Fernando Torres scored 15 in 40 in his last season for Atletico Madrid. So again, he wasn't particularly prolific, but we all know what happened when he moved to Merseyside. So let's hope that Fabio Barini can do very much the same sort of thing. Anyway, uh, hopefully we'll see a little bit of the Italian on the US tour. Liverpool's game against Toronto is closing in on us now. Um, we will be talking in greater depth about the man on this week's show. Uh, do tune in on TheRedmenTV.com. It's free for a month. Like it, keep it, hate it, 
cancel it. Yes, we'll also be talking about obviously the upcoming Toronto game as well as issues revolving around the club, Andy Carroll, Alberto Aquilani, yada yada yada. Please do tune in for that, I promise to be a bit of a laugh and it won't just be me, which will be excellent. Um, so yeah, thanks very much. We've got another little piece of breaking news coming up for you in a second, so please do tune in for that. Ta-da. Mm -hmm.